picture a supply chain where decisions are made in real time not just based on averages or forecasts but by reacting immediately to real customer orders and changing conditions that's the core of order based planning in sap integrated business planning it moves beyond bulk predictions focusing instead on detailed real time execution if you are curious about this lesser known but powerful planning approach you are in the right place hi i am ayanang shudas and ibp consultant and through my experience i have seen many organizations struggle with increasingly complex and dynamic supply networks many businesses lack the flexibility to adapt to sudden disruptions they rely too heavily on forecast accuracy resulting in either surplus production or inventory shortages they often find it difficult to manage internal location dependencies and typically don't have clear visibility into individual orders these are precisely the types of challenges the order or that order based planning can address in this session we will dive into order based planning with sap ibp and how it stands apart from more commonly used time series based planning method let's begin with the basics time series planning is the standard approach in many ibp modules it is built on aggregated historical and forecast data typically structured by weeks or months the planners work with expected demand inventory and supply data for each time period but does not necessarily consider individual order level details this makes time series planning well suited for strategic and long range planning efforts where understanding broader trends and averages is more important than precision it's widely used for high level demand forecasting optimizing inventory and managing supply across large volumes however this approach may fall short when companies need agility and visibility at the individual order level especially when faced with rapidly shifting demand dynamic lead times and supply dependencies across sites that's why order based planning available through the response and supply module in sap ibp fills the gap unlike time series methods order based planning focuses on individual demand and supply orders integrating them directly with erp systems this creates a much more precise planning environment it not only considers the direct relationships between customer demand and supply but also allows planners to match and confirm orders efficiently this method is highly effective for short term execution driven planning although it can also be applied to long term plans particularly in cases where picking plays a critical role this approach is ideal for businesses with high product customization complex logistics or significant pressure to balance service levels with production capacity while time series planning aggregates information into larger buckets order based planning works at the level of each specific order and product this provides much greater flexibility and responsiveness want to explore the capabilities of order based planning in more detail let's look at at its main features the first is real time planning while time series based planning often runs in batch mode order based planning is dynamic and continuously reacts to the latest transaction transactional and master data this real time responsiveness is especially crucial for industries that face volatile demand or frequently supply side disruptions if you are interested in this real time integration aspect be sure to check out other related sessions that dive in that topic in detail next we have supply planning based on actual orders order based planning aligns the flow of goods and materials across the entire supply chain it ensures demand and supply stay balanced as part of this process it generates a feasible plan for purchasing production and distribution the planning engine evaluates priorities and can run heuristic or through cost optimization methods using the optimizer orders are allocated and confirmed after the plan is run with system generated receipts based on real world constraints this ensures production scheduling and procurement are all aligned with the resource availability be it labor raw materials or machine time another powerful feature is order level visibility order based planning allows planners to operate at a highly granular level instead of managing based on forecasts or aggregate data you are planning using the actual orders that drive demand tools like projected stock and supply usage help visualize how specific demand orders are matched 
to supply and how they affect capacity. For example, if a large customer order arrives, the system shows how to how it impacts your current inventory and whether you need to trigger production or procurement immediately. Similarly, the gating factor app identifies bottlenecks preventing on-time order fulfillment. Let's also talk about deployment planning. There are always unexpected customer requests or delays in inbound supply. That's why SAP IBP's deployment engine ensures that existing inventory is used efficiently to meet changing demand. Pegging relationships can be restructured based on new priorities or cost considerations to improve fulfillment. Transportation load building is another optimization function that bundles shipments without disturbing the supply plan. It groups outbound requests to form efficient shipping loads, factoring in weight, volume, and size to minimize logistics costs. This is especially helpful when dealing with multiple plants or distribution centers. In the 2408 SAP IBP release, characteristic-based planning is new, which enables planning for product variants like different sizes, colors, or quality levels by modeling these attributes directly in the planning logic. This enhances product customization, ensures regional compliance, and keeps the master data structured and streamlined. Lastly, automated exception management and what-if scenario planning are essential components. These tools allow planners to simulate changes in the supply chain and assess the impact before implementation. Alerts notify users of critical exceptions so, that can, so they can proactively resolve issues rather than react after the fact. In conclusion, order-based planning within SAP IBP offers a highly granular, adaptive, and real-time alternative to traditional time series planning. By focusing on the individual order level, incorporating constraints, and integrating real-time data, this approach empowers companies to optimize their supply chain operations and react swiftly to changing business conditions. I hope this walkthrough clarified how order-based planning works and why it's valuable in today's supply chain environment. Let me know your thoughts or questions in the comments and don't forget to check out the videos if you want to dive deeper into SAP IPP. Thanks for watching and see you next time.